In today's video, we will be downloading and configuring an open source Copilot-like AI code assistant called Continue, and show you how quick and easy it is to integrate with AI Dial using the Dial VS Code plugin. Dial's unified API was designed for compatibility with industry standards in mind, and this allows for simple integration with many community tools as a result. We've prepared a simple set of instructions to enable Continue plus Dial in VS Code. All we have to do is install the Continue plugin, either from Visual Studio Code Marketplace or directly from inside the VS Code application. Let's drag it over to its own side panel as suggested by the documentation. Let's take a quick look at Continue's default configuration file. Our Dial VS Code plugin will populate this with all necessary details from your Dial instance. We download the AI Dial VSIX package and install it manually from the extensions view in VS Code. Select Install from VSIX and browse the downloaded package. Once installed, it will prompt you to authenticate with Dial. Once you have done so, the plugin will automatically generate the required config file for continue based on your Dial access tokens. We can see all Dial models compatible with continue using the Dial Models command in the search bar of VS Code. Feel free to unselect any models which you do not want in your Continue Chat interface. Congratulations! You're now set up to work with all Dial models in Continue. If you want, you can take a look at the Dial plugins documentation by selecting it from the extensions. Now that we have Continue installed and configured via the Dial plugin, Let's take a look at a few quick examples of what the plugin can help us do with a simple, incomplete Python test file. First, we'll take a look at the tab autocomplete functionality. The AI Dial VS Code plugin automatically defines the tab autocomplete model and options in the config file, which will instruct VS Code to pre-generate suggested code based on the surrounding content when you are on an empty line. You can see the AI generated suggestion in the ghost text. To put it into the real file, simply hit the tab key and it is inserted into your code. Next, let's explore what we can do with the chat. At the top, we see the list of available models to choose from. For now, let's just use Anthropic's Claw 3.5 Sonnet. Here's the neat part. Since the dial plugin automatically defines embedding models as well, we can easily pass entire files or code bases to our large language models of choice, without needing to copy and paste specific code snippets every time. Let's select our file and ask it to help us fill it in and test it. As you can see, code is generated to complete each of our function calls, and it even generates a few usage examples. Continue also allows us to easily copy all generated code into our Python file. We can proceed with the conversation as is, attach different files, or even pass it our entire code base. We hope this brief demonstration of open source tools like Dial and Continue working together helps inspire more community-driven innovation. Thank you.